Coach Borelli, the, the chips look pretty fired up today here at the uh, Michigan State Open. If it were a team score were cap, I think you'd have won. You had a, uh, an all Chippewa final at 149. And some of the younger guys are really coming to form for you. Uh, you had an all final uh, 174, I think, was all Chippewa final. Yeah. Looking at that and, and you know, the dominance of today, what's it say about the Chippewas going into this year? Uh, we're just trying to get better. You know, I know that's a little bit of coach speak and everything, but you know, we're just trying to get better. Um, you're never quite as good as you think you are. You're never quite as bad as you think you are. You're kind of usually somewhere in the middle, and you know, you use this to figure out what you need to work on, and um, hopefully some of our guys gain confidence. That's real important, too, you know. Like you said, we have some younger guys in this tournament, and we're hoping they're, this springs them, you know, forward, and they gain confidence, and, um, you know, continue to improve. 149 with uh, Haffernan. His, his final against Oliver, right? Yeah. It's a marathon. Yeah. Are the matches always that close in the room, Coach? Um, uh, it's real competitive with, between those guys in our room. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real good situation to have those guys. And, and um, you know, one of those guys could go 57 if we needed him to, you know, depending on Luke. You know, we got to keep Luke healthy this year. So um, it's a good problem to have. Looking at, you know, the, the teams from the, the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, when you're sending, you have four, five All-Americans one year. It's incredible. I think you guys finished fifth. Fifth as a team. One year, yeah. Fifth as a team. You know, what's it going to take to work back towards, you know, doing what Edinburgh did last year? They took third. I think you guys, I put you very much in the same category, but you're a bigger university. But what's it going to take to work back to the, the late 90s, the early 2000s glory days of the chip was? Uh, you know, we just have to have a little bit of change of attitude in our room. We have to create that toughness again. You know, we have to... Uh, you know, we have to produce all Americans. You got to have guys, not only all Americans, but back in those days, we had guys that were NCAA finalists, you know, and, and an NCAA champion. So um, we got to get back to that. You know, got to get back to guys believing that they can do those things. And um, if you have enough guys like that, anything can happen. Looking at the war, I, I mean, some people call it a dual meet, but I call it a war last week with Purdue. Great match. You guys come from behind and beat Purdue. What does that do for you guys, and how does that toughen them up? Well, I know it's a lot more fun uh, winning that than losing it, you know, just the way it went. But, you know, um, that was a heck of a match. I, I You know, gee whiz, uh, <laughs> I don't know how we won, to be honest with you, but we got, we, we, uh, we kept wrestling, basically. We kept wrestling at 197, we kept wrestling at heavyweight, and we did enough to win, you know. We, we needed a pin at 97, we were fortunate enough to get one. Um, you know, those are the type of matches you, you, um, you know, as long, I think those are the type of tests that you, you find out a lot about yourself. You know, we needed those tests. We had a test like that against Ryder, too. You know, Ryder gave us all we could handle. I think we won that dual meet 18 to 15. So, you know, anytime you're in those situations and uh, you're successful um, and you're tested in every one of the individual matches, that's good for you. Corey Keener up 6-0. Gaska comes from behind and beats him. And then uh, Haran. I've never seen Haran, you know, like a like guy just body lock her in. I've never seen those guys get handled the way they got handled today. What are those guys got to take from those losses in the finals at 33 and 41? They have to get better. They have to continue to wrestle. Zach's got to score points when he's capable of scoring points. You know, he can't make every match close. I mean, he's had a, a history of that, and he can do better than that. Zach knows that. And uh, Corey, you know, he's trying to win the match by just getting one takedown, you know. I think he did that in the semifinals, too, you know, and he's better than that. You know, he, he just got to continue to wrestle, you know. Mizzou broke your stranglehold on the, the MAC. You had over a decade-long streak of MAC championships. Mizzou comes in the league. They've won the last couple. What do you guys got to do to be get back on the top of the heap in the Mid-American Conference and be, you know, trophy-worthy, you know, in March? We got to keep improving. That's all. Our whole program has to keep improving, and I think we're doing that. Um, but we have a ways to go to catch those guys, and there's some other teams in our league that – you know, our league's not quite the same as it used to be, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, not just the six MAC schools, because Ohio has a very, very good team right now, but, um, you know, the six traditional MAC schools, but having uh, Missouri and Northern Iowa and Old Dominion in there has changed things a lot, which is, it's really good for all our programs, you know, um, I really think so. I think it's it's lifted the, the uh, competitiveness not only in, of those nine teams, but even within the six teams, you know, the traditional six teams. You signed a four-year contract how many years ago? Uh, I signed a four-year contract um, 
I think this is the second year of that. Second year, yeah. two more years after this year. What will we see at a Tom Borelli? Are you going to keep doing this? Or is, it, is it too early to say? What, what you know? What's going on after four years? Uh, you know, I've always kind of gone year to year. You know, uh, people ask me all, that all the time in recruiting, and I have to be careful about what I say. You know, because you know, I think that's used against you a lot in recruiting when you get a little older. You know, but I really enjoy what I'm doing. I I've been doing it year to year, and um, you know, I, I like being around our guys. As long as we keep improving and they keep listening to me, I feel like I've, I'm still, you know, happy to be working. It's just J. Rob. I think he's been a coach longer than you, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, How many I, years is it? 24 now? It's 20. This is my 25th year. 25th year, and that's a long time on institution, coach. Yeah, it's a long time. Do you think you will be able to? I mean, at the end of this four years, is it year by year then, or just wait by the end of the four years? What do you do? I'd like to keep coaching for a while. I'd like to get our program back to where it was maybe uh, six, seven, eight years ago, you know, when we were, you know, taking eight, nine, ten guys to the nationals and, you know, we were in the top ten, you know, and, and we had NCAA finalists back to back years. And I'd like to get it back to that, you know. All right, coach, you got anything else for me? No, thank you. Hey, safe travels. Guys look good today. Thank you.